Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to take a fraction like, or a fraction, what am I talking about? Wouldn't it be nice if I could take a matrix like this and on the CID4 use that instead of doing this by hand to turn this into row echelon form? Well, it turns out that you can actually do that if you know the proper steps. So I'm going to show you in this video how to take a matrix like the one you see on the left and put it in row echelon form using only the calculator. Step one, if you look real close, above x to the negative one, it says matrix. And that's the menu that we need to go into. So I need to hit second matrix to get into it. Notice that I have three menus at the top. One has the names of the matrices I already have entered. One is the math functions that I'm allowed to do with matrices, like find the determinant or the augmented matrix or to find the identity matrix. Or, in this case, what we need to use, REF which is not reference like you might think, like your intuition probably says, but it actually stands for row echelon form. Notice underneath too there's reduced row echelon form which might help us out later on in a more complicated problem. So what we can do then is we're going to go over to the edit menu and we're going to edit a matrix. The first thing we need to do is actually put this matrix here into our calculator. So I hit enter. This is a three by three matrix. If you ever have trouble remembering that, remember the memory device we talked about in class, down and over, do. So I go three down, three over, this is a three by three matrix. Easy because it's square, but you know maybe that'll help you later on with some more complicated examples. A three by three matrix, I need to enter this in, so I simply type the values, hit enter every time, three, enter, three, enter, three, enter, one, zero, four, two, four, and negative two. Now make sure on the last one with the negative you don't type subtract 2. You cannot use the subtract button right here. You have to use the negative button down here or you'll get an error. Now, this is a little confusing. I don't know why. It's a little annoying. But you actually have to go second quit and get out of editing that matrix before you can go on any further. Okay? We can go now back into the matrix menu and now we can do stuff with matrix A which is a 3x3 three three matrix I just entered. I go over to math, I scroll down until I see REF, which stands for Row Echelon Form. I hit Enter. That brings that up into the command line for my main screen of my calculator. Now I need to enter in that I want the row, the row echelon form of matrix A. So in order to type in matrix A, I've got to go to second matrix again. Where my names are, I hit Enter when A is highlighted, and it puts it right in the command line. In my parentheses, I hit enter and I now have the row echelon form of that matrix. Pretty handy. 